Hi, this is Patty and welcome back to our dashboard training. Today we are going to be showing you um, our channels overview. So I'm in the dashboard right at the moment and we're going to go down to the bottom of our dashboard and you'll notice that's where the channels are. This is the final and last stage. We've built some amazing content up here and we've created our playlist right here. And now we need to get that information into our channels so that they show up on our display. So just a little bit of an overview. All of your TV displays have one player box which receives a channel from your dashboard. That player box can only receive one channel. You can't receive more than one channel, only one channel. However, that one channel can have several different playlists in that channel. On the converse, you can have many TVs and all of those player boxes can be set for one channel. Or they can each have their own interdependent channels as well. So as we go through the, the tutorial, I think you'll get a better understanding. While we're down here in our channel section, I'll just explain this part of the dashboard. Like every other, every other section, you can click on My Channels and you can um, open a folder, rename a folder, and create new folders. You can also search for channels and you can organize them by alphabet or by when they're created. Notice on the right hand side, you have your add button so you can add more channels as needed, but you do not have a drop down to drag from other dashboard. You cannot take somebody else's channel and drag it into your dashboard. You can only have your own channels on your dashboard. If you do not know which player box is um, playing which channel, just make sure that you contact your admin. If you're in an enterprise system, um, they'll be able to help you. So what I want to do is I want to explain the channels. Um, you'll notice that the channel down here, I'm looking at my main playlist. This is going to go into all of the displays. Of course, it's not going to go into our portrait one because we cannot have landscape with portraits. So only portrait can play on a channel or landscape can play on a channel. So I've named it the main playlist and you'll notice on the left hand side there's a radar looking icon over here. And that lets me know when it's green and if you remember from our scheduling, green means go that is playing currently on this player box on this channel. Notice I don't have any current playlist in here yet. We are going to be pulling that in right now. So to populate your channel, all you have to do is drag your playlist right into the channel. Once you do that, it will open the play, uh, the channel into ed editable form. You notice on the left hand side, the name of the playlist, and then this is going to play continuously. You have an option to also play incidentally, and that's actually going to be when we're going to show you some scheduling in our next tutorial. Right now, we want our main playlist to play all the time. Make sure that your valid date is your current date, the date that you are creating your channel with your playlist. And we're not going to be scheduling this at all. So all we need to do is click our checkbox. And now our playlist is going to be playing on our channel. And if you want to preview it, this little eyeball right here will allow us to preview our channel. So let's just double check and make sure that our playlist is in there. And sure enough, there it is. So now that it's in this playlist is in the channel, it is showing up on your TV displays. Let's exit out of here. The next icon next to that allows us to copy this playlist URL. And you can email this to other people uh, within your department or even an outside source that allows them to click on that link and lets them see what's playing on your display as well. Notice 
My radar is now green because it's actively playing a playlist. Okay, we're going to go through. When you click on that channel, you're able to edit the channel. And if we edit it, that just brings you into the channel, just like when you edit your playlist. You can rename all any of your channels. You can copy an exact duplicate of your channel. And we're going to click on your settings here. You have an option to tilt your screen counterclockwise or clockwise. And this is really pretty much only used when you have a portrait mounted um, display. And we have our portrait um, playlist also. The mirror screen here allows you to have a reverse image of your playlist. And that's used if you're ever going to project your playlist onto um, a piece of glass that's going to actually reverse your screen. Um, you can do it for, say, uh, April Fool's Day, too, if you want, just for the heck of it. But that's what it's used for. It's for the reverse image. The Allow Touch Navigation um, allows you, if you are using a touchscreen display, for this uh, playlist, you can actually touch the screen and navigate from page to page if you didn't, if you wanted to review the information again on a page. You can also use this on your computer. So while I'm creating this, I can go back to my channel. I can actually click um, the uh, arrows that are uh, forward and backward on my keyboard, and that allows me to advance or go back to some slides. And this last one, the mix channel, this allows this channel to actually play or interrupt. I'm going to put in 600 seconds, which is 10 minutes. It will allow this channel to interrupt all of these dashboards up here every 10 minutes. So if you are um, at the main office or headquarters um, and you want to interrupt your departments with important information, that is um, the check mark that you're going to check. Okay. All right, let's go on to the next link is a restart. The restart allows you to restart your entire channel. So um, there, there may be times uh, that you, a slide might get held up or have a little stall. In that case, all you need to do is click on a restart, click OK, and it'll tell you up at the top that the channel will restart on all players within one minute. It just gives your channel a reboot. The next one is our share playback address. This is a little bit different than um, that other URL. This URL allows a person to play this uh, display for up to 30 minutes. So it's very common if you want to use it to embed it into your website. I'm, I have a client here, and you'll notice it said play again. But with our subsidiary uh, company called the Cairo Channel, this chiropractic business also embedded his playlist that's playing in his office right now, plays on his channel or on his uh, website. This allows for um, corporate branding recognition. If clients are in his website and they're also in his office, they're getting very similar, actually the exact same information. You can also use this URL if you are attending trade shows or community fairs or anything like that. If you have a, an iPad or a small laptop that you want to show a display, um, you can also use this URL for that as well. And then we have delete. And the only way that you can delete a channel, if you are in an administrative mode and you are the company administrator, you have that option to delete. If you are not a company administrator, you're not even going to see that delete button because you won't be able to, to do that. 
So another point I do want to make before we finish up this tutorial is what if I want to add some information into my playlist, but I don't want to spend all day, you know, trying to load everything up, redo my playlist. Well, all you need to do is actually add some new slides into your playlist. Your playlist is already playing in your current channel. And I'll show you what I mean. So let's go to sample page. And I'm just going to click on this happy birthday slide. I'm going to pull it into my main playlist. And just for the sake of easy viewing, I'm going to slide it up to the beginning of our, of our playlist. And now let's go down and preview our channel. And you'll see that that happy birthday pops in right away. You don't have to go through any more uploading or changing or updating to the playlist. That one slide's already in there. So that takes care of our overview of our channels. Stay tuned for our next tutorial. We are going to be showing you how to schedule your playlists within your channel and how to build a sleep mode. That way you do not have to turn your TV off or your displays off. Stay tuned.